Hi guys, in this video we're going to take you through the AirSafe failsafe settings. Um, we're currently on the run page, so we push the joystick once to go into program mode. We select failsafe, we toggle down, push the joystick, and we're now in the failsafe settings page. As you can see, we've got, if the camera would focus, it'll be a wonderful thing. As you can see, we've got FS 0, 0.0, so failsafe is not set at the moment. Um, LV is live pressure. We're currently running 153 PSI into this system. To set the failsafe, it's very, very simple. We pump up the system to the failsafe pressure we want, let's say around 70 generally, but in this example, we're going to use 153. We go down to failsafe, we push the joystick once, it flashes, and bam, we've just set the failsafe to 153 PSI. To clear the failsafe, we just push the button again, and it will say clear and there we go. It's that simple to set failsafe. Now, when you've set the failsafe, if the pressure drops below the failsafe set pressure, the sequence will cycle to the gear down position and you will not be able to sequence up and you will not be able to do any settings. So just take that on board. Um, it's best to program the unit with the failsafe set to zero PSI where it is, get your sequencer set up, then test your PSI failsafe and then go fly. Um, that's pretty much it for the failsafe side of it. What I'll get trusty fingers to do, come back out to the main screen. Um, as you can see, we're in the down position. That wording at the bottom, when we go to a uh, failsafe situation, and I'll attempt to do that really slowly here. There we go. We've lost PSI. The system would automatically sequence to the down position and go into a failsafe situation. Um, what I want to show you on the side now are just briefly some inputs. As you can see, we've got our main servo input at the top. Oh, let's get some focus there. Main servo, focus there. There we go. Main input, input at the top. We've got a second auxiliary input marked battery. Um, you can use a second battery, but the battery must be identical to the power that's coming from the receiver. In other words, it's probably easier to take, the, take two leads out of a receiver or two leads out of your power expander than it is to add a second battery, unless you know what you're doing. All right, you've got outputs one through to six, which are self-explanatory. And auxiliary, this is a special function which allows the air failsafe to connect to a smooth flight system that has a sequence of function on board. And when it connects to the smooth flight system, the air failsafe will then trigger your main sequencer in the smooth flight. So that means your highly advanced nine channel um, sequencer in the smooth flight would get the failsafe functionality. All right, we're rolling back over and um, just one quick shot there. We're still running 150 PSI and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.